My name is Arthur Matlangu. I'm studying visual fine arts. I'm in the further faculty, which is which is Faculty of Art, Design and Architecture. I'm doing first year. I have won the Recoffee Teen Design Competition. It is a pride team for heritage. Um, and I love entering competitions. I also have won some of the competitions, which is Comic Con, where you design the pop culture artwork and the Pep Tea design. You design the, 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 the design of the shirts. And I also won the one with the shoe, the Sebago shoe competitions. And these competitions are really helpful in terms of career. And in this particular competition, the Ricofi Pride Team Design Competition for Heritage, I had to incorporate the aesthetics of the Ricofi, the colors, and I had to illustrate what heritage means to me and what it means to the rest of the country. So I incorporated a lot of heritages in South Africa and my, in my way, in my aesthetic, within the Rikofi one too, which is patterns. And you can do a lot of things as well. If you want to enter it, just know that you have to stick within the Rikofi aesthetics and do the heritage. It could be patterns, it could be writings, it could be people, just like what I did. I included the Kasi lifestyle, included how we are united, how we help each other throughout the day, which is illustrated in, in the illustrator. And it will be released in September. So right now it's just a graphic one. What inspired this design is the Kasi lifestyle because I'm from Kasi. I know what it's like to live day to day in Kasi. I illustrated that in my design and also what inspired it is my heritage of which is the patterns. I include the patterns in my artworks because they mean a lot to me. It symbolizes unity, it symbolizes culture and what we are represents us as South Africans. The reason why I chose visual art as my passion is because I'm very passionate about it and I love inspiring other people. Like, it's a way to express myself on a paper, on a canvas. You can literally just write your emotions, draw your emotions, if you can say them out loud, just like me, because I'm an artist, you know. But it, it's, it's, it's really amazing. I love. I love interpreting words uh, in a visual form, interpreting, this is like poetry in a picture. My studies helped me a lot in these competitions because as artists, you don't know everything. So being with another artist, being with other artists in the class, we learn a lot from each other. I learned that I can use other materials that I haven't used before, the recommendations that I get, and because they understand where I'm coming from, they understand how I think because we are all artists. And even the lectures, they are good. I mean, they have been there, they walked the road before me. So they make the road easily for me. It's like they paved the road for us and then we just walk there. And the advice is relevant, which is what I like. It's not just random advice that's not relevant to what I'm asking or my visual art. So whatever they tell me, it's good. I can incorporate most of their opinions of which is what I like, and I also give them my opinions in their artworks, and they include it. And even the faculty cares about us. There's an art therapy sessions for us, where they help us express our, our feelings, how we feel about the faculty. And sometimes you don't have inspiration to produce art, but you have to do it anyways. Of which is, it, it helps you realize what the real world is like, it's not about finding passion, just work and the passion will find you during the process. If you are an artist and you are very passionate about art and your artworks, join us. Come to this beautiful father building, Faculty of Art and Design and Architecture. It's really welcoming and people here are really helpful. And please put your artwork out there. If you keep hiding your artwork, keep being, not being on media, Nobody's gonna see you. No one will come to you. You have to put your work out there, promote your work, show, show to people who like your artwork, put it on social media. And that's what I did, which landed me here, which helped me a lot because I'm getting recognitions from other big companies, from people who can help me in life. It's basically networking. That's what it is. And I really encourage you to come to this faculty and apply. Tell your friends who are artists as well, as well as your family members. And 
they can make a living out of it because they don't just teach you how to do art they also teach you how to make a living how to make a uh, selling art at that exhibition worthy and gallery worthy which is what you want to do because you love it thank you very much for watching i hope to see you soon the university of johannesburg the future reimagined